Hello and welcome. In this video you will learn how to effortlessly record time with the Time Buzzer desktop app and how the physical buzzer helps remove the friction from time tracking. Because at Time Buzzer we believe this is the key to accurate time tracking that people actually use. Now let's take a closer look at how the app works. By rotating the buzzer we jump directly into the first layer so that we can choose a client. By pressing the buzzer we select the client and now we can choose an associated project. By pressing the buzzer again, it will select the project and start the timer. The app then automatically disappears in the background so that we can directly start with our actual work. In addition, the buzzer lights up in the color of the client. This way we always know if time is recorded correctly without having to open the app. To bring the app back to the foreground, we just need to touch the buzzer and when we release the buzzer, the app automatically disappears. This is made possible by a proximity sensor in the buzzer, which makes the app incredibly smooth. By touching the buzzer, we can bring the app to the foreground at any time to add notes to a time entries, for example. Tap the buzzer briefly to activate automatic closing. Once we are done working for this client, we simply press the buzzer to stop the timer. In our timeline, we can now see the time we just recorded. We can zoom in if our time entries are very short. Let's rotate the buzzer again to choose and select the next client. By the way, if we accidentally selected the wrong client, we can simply press and briefly hold the buzzer to jump back one layer. Once we have selected the right client and project, the timer starts and the app disappears. As we have already seen, all time entries will be displayed in our timeline. To edit a time entry, we can simply click on it, make edits, and click on save to save the changes. To correct time entries even easier and faster, we can also simply drag the beginning or the end of a time entry or move the whole time entry on the timeline via drag and drop. If we ever forget to record a time, we can also simply click and drag in the timeline to insert a new time entry. All time entries are automatically synced with the web console and you can also record time offline. Once you're back online, everything is synchronized again. Here below, you can also initiate a manual synchronization. To get to the web console, you can click on the cloud icon and the question mark will take you to the help section. Use the cogwheel to access the app settings. Here, you can make general settings such as selecting a light or dark mode changing the language, and so on. Below buzzer, you have specific settings if you're using a buzzer. And below reminders, you have the option to set reminders and notifications so that the app reminds you to record time. As you can see, everything in this app is designed to make time recording as easy and smooth as possible for you and your teammates. So try it yourself now and record a first time.